Hello students. In the last video, we have seen about the addition of algebraic expressions. In this video, we are going to see subtraction of algebraic expressions. Okay, let us see the point. We have learned that to subtract one integer from another is to add its opposite integer to the other. In addition and subtraction of integers, we have learned how to subtract the integer one integer from another integer okay and what is its meaning its meaning is nothing but to add the opposite integer of it okay already we have learned this okay we shall use the same rule for subtraction of addition algebraic expressions okay and same rules we have to use here okay and even the whatever the rules we have learned in addition okay from that also some of the rules are applicable in subtraction also Example is given. Now, 18 minus 7. We know how to how to do it. Okay, means 18 plus minus 7. Means this plus minus it becomes minus 18 minus 18 minus 7 means answer 11. This we know it. Okay, one more example is given. Now, 9x minus 4x means like suppose 9 uh, goas minus 4 goas. Okay. Means if you are having 9 goas, from that if you give 4 goas to someone, how many will be there? Will remain 5 goas. Okay. The same way 9 plus in bracket minus 4. Okay. And this x is common to both. So it is taken as common. Okay. So plus minus it becomes minus 9 minus 4. It becomes plus 5. So answer is 5x. Right. Then one more example is given. Subtract the second expression from the first. Okay. Here clearly it is mentioned. This second expression we have to subtract from this first one. What is the example given? 16x plus 23y plus 12z. Okay. From this we have to subtract 9x minus 27y plus 14z. Same rules are applicable even for horizontal also and vertical also. Okay. So, write first expression here 16x plus 23y plus 12z so minus this second expression 9x minus 27y plus 14z. Right. Okay. Remove the bracket. Now, here we were outside the bracket here, positive sign is there. So, all these terms they come as it is. Means 16x plus 23y plus 12z. Okay. Now here negative sign is there, minus sign is there. Because of this minus sign, all signs of all these terms changes. Okay. Means minus multiplied by plus, minus. So minus 9x here. Minus multiplied by minus, answer plus. Okay. This 27y here. Minus multiplied by plus, minus answer. Okay. And this 14z here. Okay. Means from this you must have understood when negative sign is there outside the bracket, all the sign changes. Okay. Now after this step, what we have to do? We have to write the like terms together. Okay. 16x minus 9x, they are written together. Plus 23y plus 27y, they are written together. Okay. Plus 12z minus 14z, they are written together. And now after this only write the th uh, three answers of these three brackets. 16x minus 9x, 7x. 23y plus 27y, 50y. Plus 12z minus 14z. Answer is minus 2z. Don't that minus 2z is written here. Okay. This is the horizontal method. Horizontal arrangement. Okay. Then let us see about the vertical. Okay. Write the first expression here. 16x plus 23y plus 12z minus here this here minus sign is given. What is the second expression? 9x minus 27y plus 14z. Right? Now as I explain here, because of the minus sign, all the sign changes. The same way because of this minus sign also all these sign changes. Okay. This plus sign of the 9, it becomes minus. Neg minus sign of 27, it becomes plus. Okay. And plus sign of the 14z, it becomes minus. Okay. And then these signs get cancelled. Okay. Only now we have to consider these signs. Okay. 
सो प्लस ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर्टीन आंसर इज माइनस टू एंड दिस जेड कॉमन प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन आंसर इज प्लस फिफ्टी वाई कॉमन सिक्सटीन माइनस नाइन आंसर इज सेवन एक्स कॉमन ओके आंसर यू सी यूल गेट सेम आंसर ओके Now here also, yeah, as I explain, as I told you in addition, the same way even in subtraction also you have to decide that which arrangement or which method you are going to follow, whether horizontal or vertical, right? Now let us move to uh, practice set number thirty-four. Okay, how many five examples are these? Five examples will be explained in the notebook. So practice set number thirty-four. First example is given in first bracket. 4xy minus 9z. Second bracket is given 3xy minus 16z. Okay. What is the instruction? Subtract the second expression from the first one. Okay. So we write it 4xy minus 9z minus 3xy minus 16z. Right. Now next step is remove the bracket. Okay, here plus sign is there, so no sign changes. So all everything it comes down as it is. Okay, now because of this minus sign, sign of three and sixteen changes. Okay, means plus three will become minus three, minus sixteen will become plus sixteen. Or even in another words also I can explain. Minus multiplied by plus it becomes minus, and this three x y as it is. Okay, minus multiplied by minus, it becomes plus and sixteen z as it is. Right. Now write the like terms together. Four x y and minus three x y write together. Then minus nine z and plus sixteen z write together. What we have done? This we have taken like terms together. Okay. Now write the answers of these like terms. That will be our final answer. Four minus three, one. X y. Even if you don't write this x or one, then also it works because the meaning of x y is nothing but one only. Right? Okay. Then minus nine plus sixteen, minus nine plus sixteen. We have we will have to take difference of nine and sixteen. Nine. Plus seven sixteen. What is the sign of bigger number? Plus. And what is the variable? Z. So this is our final answer. Okay. Coming to example number two. Subtract the second expression from the first. So write it. Five x plus four y plus seven z minus x plus two y plus Three zero, right? Remove the bracket. Here plus sign is there, so no sign cha, no sign changes. Plus seven zero. Because of this minus sign, all sign changes. Means this plus x becomes minus x. Plus two y becomes minus two y. Plus three z becomes minus three z. Right? Then write the like terms together. Then five x minus x like terms plus four y minus two y like terms plus seven z minus three z like terms. Right now we have written like terms together. Now write the answers of these like terms. Five x minus x. Five x minus x means five x minus one x. Answer is. 4x plus 4 minus 2. Answer is plus 2, and this y variable plus 7 minus 3. Answer is plus 4, and this variable z as it is. This is our final answer. All right. Now coming to example number three. Example number three is 14x square. Plus eight y plus three y square minus 
26x square minus 8xy minus 17y square. All right. Solve the bracket. 14x square plus 8y plus 3y square. Because of this minus sign, all sign changes. Plus 26 becomes minus 26x square. Minus 8 becomes plus 8. Minus 17 becomes plus 17 and this y square as it is. Then write the, write the like terms together. 14x square minus 26x square. Then plus 8y here y for y nothing is there okay then for here also for x y nothing is there so the this we write as it is but these two are not like terms huh? these two are like terms this is different term this is different term then write the like terms together remaining plus 3 y square plus 17 y square okay these two are like terms right okay then write the answers of like terms plus 14 minus 26 answer is minus 12 x square here for 8y no like term is there so it, it comes as it is plus 8xy for this like term is not there so it remains as it is then these two are like terms what is the answer of it plus 3 plus 17 answer is plus 20 and their variable is y square right this is our Final answer. Now coming to example number 4. What is the example? 6x square plus 7xy plus 16y square minus 16x square minus 17xy. Okay. What is our first, first step? Remove the bracket. Here plus sign is there. Okay. So no change takes place anything for the first expression. So, all the terms remains as it is. No change. Okay. Now, here negative sign is there, minus sign is there. So, sign changes of uh, six, plus 16 becomes minus 16. Minus 17 becomes plus 17. Alright. Now, the next step is write the like terms together. Okay. 6x square minus 16x square plus 7xy plus 17xy. These two are like terms and this is different term. Okay, that we will write it separately. So, 6x square minus 16x square. Okay, these two like terms are written together. Plus 7xy plus 17xy. These two are like terms. These two are like terms. These two are like terms. This is different term. So write it separately. Okay. There is no pair for this. Let it remain as it is. Is equal to. Now. 6 minus 16. Answer is minus 10. Plus 7 plus 17. Answer is plus 24. And this plus 16y square. No pair is there for it. So it remains as it is. This is our final answer. Okay. Coming to example number 5. Example number 5 is 4x plus 16z. Minus 19y. Minus 14z. Plus 16x. Correct. Our first step is remove the bracket. Now here plus sign is there so no change uh, takes place for the uh, first expression. Because of this minus sign all sign changes. Plus 19 becomes minus 19. Minus 14 becomes plus 14. Plus 16 becomes minus 16. Okay. Then write the like terms together. So, 4x and minus 16x together. 
Okay, try, make the marking so that you will understand which terms are taken down. Plus 16z plus 14z. This term is remaining minus 19y. No, no term is there for, uh, for it. Okay, let it remain as it is. Now write the answer of these two like terms is equal to 4 minus 16 answer is minus 12 plus 16 plus 14 answer is plus 30 and its variable z and this minus 19y uh, it doesn't have any pair so it comes down as it is so this is our final answer all right here our five examples of practice set number 34 gets over okay I will come with a new video with the next point of multiplication of algebraic expressions.